Hello and welcome back. My name is Dwayne, of course, aka that guy. And this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to take a look at some of my flying, but it's going to be in the multiplayer environment, as you can see here. So you get to see some other people flying and, and how, how it compares. Now, I'm doing it for a couple of reasons. One, you guys can actually take a look at some of the tricks that I do. And um, if you, you know can't figure it out or there's something you want to know a little bit more, you can actually put the time of the video of that particular trick where it starts and finishes into the comment section and I'll take a look at it and I'll make another video to break it down a bit more, explain it or something like that. And <laughs> secondly, um, to be perfectly honest, it's just a bit about me sort of wanting to, um, you know, shake off some of the dust and get my chops back up again on the simulator. Um, everybody gets a little bit, you know, rusty and it's been a while since I've really put in some solid time. So I'm going to do that here. Um, so, here we go, I guess. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to sort of throw commentary as I go and whatnot. <laughs> um, you might not like it, you might like it, you might want to hear more, I don't know. Um, but um, I'm kind of going to break down, or no, not break down, explain some of the tricks that I'm doing. And that, or what they're called, etc. And see what happens I guess just uh, stop and say what's up to this guy In this, I guess, you'll get to see the kind of tricks that I like to do, and, that, and I will be repeating a lot of tricks. Um, you know, if you don't catch it the first time, I uh, guarantee you're going to catch it the second or third time, because I, I do sort of recycle and repeat a lot of things. And I'll do tricks in, you know, the same trick, but in, a, say, a different orientation for a little bit of, you know, variation on it or something, just to mix it up a little bit. Um, and for me, the way that I fly, a lot of you would know, actually, that it's for the aesthetic of it. I like how a particular thing looks like that. Yo, backwards inverted Mobius. Um, I'll be popping a lot of autos as well, <laughs> as you'll see. I, I don't know why, I just like doing it. Um, and they're good practice as well. bit hot. Got one inverted drag and ooh, don't know if I'm gonna make it. Yep. Just I like doing these lazy sort of pirouetting TikTok things as well. They're kinda of cool. Flip over here, a little bit untidy, but never mind. This guy's uh, blocking my view a bit.
starting to get the impression he's doing it on purpose. What are you up to, Polly Rasta? Impossible auto. Impossible auto. Aha, he was. He was doing it on purpose. So, if there's any of these tricks that you like or you want to see again or more of or you want me to explain, put the time of it on, of the video of where the trick happens into the into your comment and I will um, try and make a video for it. It's a bit messy. definitely rusty which is a good point to bring up actually you know this is a it is a perishable skill I guess so you know the more time you spend doing it the better you'll get and the more time you spend not doing it you know, it will start to perish Trying to get a feel for it a little bit at the moment while I'm recording using Bandicam and that off wraps doesn't seem to matter. My uh, frame rate starts to suffer quite badly and um, everything's not quite sharp while I'm recording, so I'm just trying to uh, fly around that at the moment. This is a cool trick, I like this stolen off of Lucas Reaver. <clears throat> I'm calling it the Reaver Mobius at the moment. It's just nice and lazy. I like it. Put the real lazy pirouette in there. Tiktok with a really super tight funnel, 360 in there, 270 funnel. Lady rolls to 360 flip outs. Real lazy 180 drags on the Pereira TikTok.
four points. TikToks, but they're a 361 side only variation, just for something different, which I kind of like doing actually. A lot of switch pirouetting going on in there. Funnel. Some more switch pirouetting going on. Throw some aileron 180s into the uh, rainbow. That mean over speed. These are kind of cool. I like doing these. These are I'm just calling them a window wiper at the moment. traditional pirouette and TikTok. Alright. Time to take a look at some other people flying. Um, so these are there's a bunch of different guys in here at the moment. Um, this guy here, Jason, he's only clocked up a few hours on the simulator, that's it, I think, as far as I know. Um, and it doesn't sound like he set up his radio either for, um, for inverted flying, he's got no idle up setup going on. This is Speed Racer. Uh, as far as I know, he's been flying about three years. Um, the cyclic on that thing looks ridiculously fast. I don't know if you sped it up or what. And this is Polly Rasta. French guy. Only flies planes. As far as I know. Let's take a look at Speed Racer for a little bit. Yeah, that cyclic is way too fast. Way too fast. If you're just learning it's, I don't think it's a good idea to have cyclic that's as quick as that. It's, um, you're kind of over controlling the machine the entire time. And you can see by um, Speed Racer's stick movements here, you know, how quick he's moving the sticks. And, you know, as far as like 
micro control goes, that's not going to be easy when it's like that. <clears throat> I'm just flicking back as a force through all the people that are in here, so just to have a bit of a look, see what everyone's up to. He's not too bad, old polyraster. Yeah, trying to kill us. <coughs> this flight info doesn't show what they're doing, only shows the stick movements on the radio. They're really nice. Jason up to. So this is the guy saying he's really new, only a few hours clocked up on the simulator, that's it, nothing in the real. Um, and so he's doing the right thing, I reckon, getting a simulator. Speed race is nuts. There's a few things I wish Phoenix had for their online that they don't. I wish they had a better voice chat. Um, I mean, at the moment, what myself and some of my friends do is we actually just, we run Skype at the same time, so we Skype chat while we're in a session and we join the same session. And, um, you know, it's the easiest way <coughs> to fly and chat at the same time. Because the in-chat, the, the in-game chat, thing for um, Phoenix online is 
pretty average. I mean, you can't hear them half the time. It's just, you know, it's always clippy and whatnot. Um, I also wish they had a lot more controls, actually, um, for things that you could do. Like um, different game modes and whatnot, you know, they've got sort of, you know, a couple of um, games that you can play. But I wish there was like a um, forced spectator mode as well for, um, you know, online competition, say, things like that. Holy, that is way too quick. That just looks insane. Um, yeah, Phoenix could do so much better with their interface as well. And the um, initial lobby, um, chat in the lobby, and you know, being able to message people in a particular session being able to highlight that session and send the uh, host a message and that, you know, let's say if it's a locked session and it's password protected, you can request, you know, that they let you in and, and that from the, um, you know, main lobby, um, which would be pretty cool. Or you can invite people in a session to, you know, another session. Um, or you could see the people that are actually in that session, you know, by highlighting the session in the lobby see what people are in there and you could run online competitions and whatnot you know and have different parameters for um you know competition modes so forcing you know three minute time limits or whatever the host chooses you know three minutes four minutes nine minutes you know, whatever um you know for a competition and everyone else is you know spectating and whatnot and then have a you know vote system and that's all the spectators and that can vote on that flight I think that would be a cool feature. But, uh, you know, that's just me. Speed racer. I have no idea what Polyrest is doing. Just having fun, I guess. Well, I think that's nearly the end of it for now. Um, let me know if you want to see any more online stuff or if there is anything in particular you want to see. Um, I'll see if I can make a video to do with it. And any of the tricks that I was doing earlier on, note the time of it uh, in the video and post that time into the comments into your comments saying can you explain how to do this at this time uh, you know and I'll try and make a video to do with that to break it down I thought that might be an easier way to uh, you know so I know exactly what it is that you guys want to learn as opposed to trying to make a video about you know all the tricks which I'm gonna do anyway um, just to sort of cover as many bases as I can but um, yeah for the more specific stuff just let me know you know just put it in the comment section uh, there's plenty more tricks that I could have actually done, and I probably should have done, but, you know, I've, I've missed out a lot, I know. But, um, you know, I'll make some more videos in the near future. And, um, <clears throat> hopefully the stuff that I'm, you know, I'm showing you actually helps. Uh, let me know if it does, let me know if it doesn't, you know, whatever. Um. So, yeah. Alright.
That's it. Catch you guys.